the silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. And veins through the mist and ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara, and the king, yes, the king. In the high country, the first rays of sunlight that fill the dawn bring the sweetest part of the day. The air is crisp. The mountain creatures rise to begin another day, or scurry for their burrows and hollow trees to rest after a night spent in search of food. When man came to the high country, dawn brought tales of a horse, swift and silver, and handsome and proud as any they had seen, merging with the morning mist, appearing and disappearing. Some said he was real, the son of the mighty Yaraman, once the great king of the Cascade Brumbies. Some said he was a ghost. But the animals and birds of the bush know Thara is real. Know that one day he too will be king of the wild horses that roam the Cascade Ranges. Thara, who is already the finest, fastest colt, knows every bit of the high country. As leader of a small gang of young Brumbies, he is still young and inexperienced, but is fast learning the ways of his world. You two, we've got to get back to the herd. Oh, do we have to? Please, Bin Bin, this is great fun. Back to the bank now. Hey, this isn't a game, you two. The river's flowing very fast. <laughs> Bin Bin, I can't touch the bottom. Oh no, don't panic. Just swim towards me, across the current. Don't try to go against it. It's too hard! Just swim close to me. As hard and as strong as you can. That's it. That's it. I can't keep up! Hmm. <sighs> 
Thank you, stranger. I'm afraid this foolish young foal would have been swept to his death if you hadn't come along. He seems to have lost his manners as well as his tongue. Don't worry about it. I hope he's learnt his lesson. By the way, I'm Boon Boon. I'm sure my father, the noble Brogel, would also want me to thank you for your bravery. I doubt that, Boon Boon. You see, my name's Thara. So you're Thara? I've heard a lot about you. Just the mention of your name and my father goes into a rage. My father was the brave Yarra man. He lost his kingdom to your father and maybe he's frightened that one day I'll be able to win it back. Then I'll be king of the Cascade Brumbies. The Karawan, my father's spy. It is not safe for us to be seen together, nor for you to be so close to my father's herd. It's sad that a bird with such a beautiful call can be so full of hate and spite. The other birds won't have anything to do with him. Watch out for him. Now, for all our sakes, I'd better get all my charges back to the herd. Back to the herd. Boon Boon? Was it really Thara who saved him? Enough chatter. I think it might be best if we didn't mention our adventures or the brave stranger, okay? Oh. Now come on. Watching you, Brolga. And I'm learning. One day I'll be ready for you. What's going on, Boom Boom? Those foals are very flighty. Um, well, they're just excited by their expedition. Well, tell them to grow up. Great and powerful, Brolga. I bring you... Enough flattery, Karawong. I don't like you. Just tell me your news. But my... Dear. Enough! Thara's watching you from the snow gums on the far ridge. Oh, uh... I am the king of all the Cascade Brumbies. Be gone, or face my fury. I am the Brolger, powerful and brave. And I am the son of Yaraman. And one day I will win back his kingdom. Oh, Brother Storm, how did you find me? Wombat saw you near Dead Horse Hut, and Benny said you were heading south along the Krakenback River. Then some swamp wallabies pointed me up here. The wind did the rest. You're mad to be this close to the Brolga. He won't hesitate to harm you. If I give him the chance, but I won't till I'm ready. Well, right, let's get out of here. What's the matter? Three men on horseback. And they're not too far in front of us. Where's the rest of our gang? At our favourite grazing spot. Well, that's where these tracks are heading. Wait, someone's coming. Well, quick, we can hide behind the boulders. Oh, don't worry, it's only a kangaroo. 
It might be Benny. Lara. Storm. Oh, Benny. You found the tracks, then? Oh. Yep, I've seen the men. They separated near Lyrebird Spur and found out. They have their lassoes and their horses look strong and fast. A hunt? Looks like it. Can you keep up with this, Benny? Through the heath, I can move as fast as you. In fact, I might even beat you. Ready? Go! <laughs> Are you sure there were only three colts? Positive. But it's OK. Arrow's with them. Arrow? That's a worry. circle around the men to get to the gang before them. I'll come with you. No, no, I'll move quicker and quieter by myself. You and Benny head up onto the ram's head. It's too rough for the men's horses. I'll send the colts up to you. Good idea. This time, I bet I beat you, Benny. Oh, yeah? See ya. <laughs> Going off again, eh, Thaura? It's a waste of time. I'm the oldest, so I'm the leader. Now, the best way to handle the danger is to make... What danger? I don't see any danger. I don't believe what he says. He's making it up, so you'll think he's... <laughs> Scared of a whipbird, Thaura. That's no whipbird. It's a signal from the men. They're about to attack. Rubbish. What should we do, Thaura? Follow me up onto the ram's head. It's rocky and difficult going. They'll lose interest when their horses go lame. Stupid idea. There's no cover. Best bet is to follow the river. Gallop for all you're worth. Their horses would tire easily. But don't worry. There yeah! are no... Men! Yeah! Oh, no. What are we going to do? Quick, follow me. Yeah! Arrow, which way? Oh, no. Way. Follow the chestnuts. They'll be easy to catch. <laughs> yeah! We've got him now. Yeah! Rocky! Womara, what's wrong with you? Are you stupid or something? <laughs> Keep up! We're tired, Arrow. Wait for us. What? And get captured? Can you see them? We lost them, among the snow gums. They must be on the river flats by now. If the men haven't caught them... Oh, Arrow never listens. Looks like we've lost the chestnut, but these two are prize enough. Mopoke, Mopoke, what a joke! All alone, on oh. your own, waiting for Thara to rescue you, are you, Arrow? I don't ever want to hear that name again. Arrow, Arrow, swift of flight, but not tonight. Be quiet, Mopoke. 
Arrow, arrow, as day ends, he loses friends. It was Thaura's fault my friends got captured. He led the men to our grazing grounds. There's a story that's not true. Thaura came to rescue you. Thaura is getting too big for his boots. I'm older and stronger than he is. He should do what I tell him. He'll be sorry when I see him. Arrow, arrow, full of boast. Stupider than most. <laughs> We're being followed. What is it? It could be anything, but whatever it is, it's pretty noisy. We'd better split up. Benny, can you lead Boomerang back down? Storm and I'll investigate. Thanks for saving me, Thara. You're welcome. Now just get out of here as quick as you can. Come on, Storm. Out of the way. Huh? Wombat coming through. Not till you tell me where Thaura is. I've got no idea. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I like Thaura. I don't like you. Oh. Now, out of my way, chestnut. <laughs> oh! Thank you. So much. I might have known. Arrow! Where are the cults you led to freedom? Oh no. Thaura. I'll teach him to come near my herd again. He might have outsmarted the men, but he won't get away from me. Master! Master! Uh, it's Thaura, sire. This time I'll get you, Thaura. Beware! The horse. The Brolga. Let's get going. I'm not ready to risk a fight yet. <laughs> now I've got them scared. Over to the right, here, sire! Just past those rocks! Here they are, sire! They're climbing down the other side! This is great. Arrow gets those poor cults captured and we get chased. They're getting away, sire! They're heading towards the ravine! <laughs> We're heading for the ravine. It's okay. Just follow me. It'll be easy. Okay, Storm. Just follow me. Oh, you're crazy. Easy. Oh, yeah. Quick, into the trees. Okay. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> the Brolga! Oh, no! Uh, it's that stupid arrow. How can Thaura have disappeared? Where's that blasted Karawang when I need him? Never mind. If I can't find Thaura, I'll teach Arrow a lesson instead. Thaura can wait till another day. Uh... Oh, but mighty Brolga, stop! You've got the wrong horse! I'm after Thaura too! You're weak, Arrow. Leading two friends to their capture. Ah, stop cringing. Stand and fight like a stallion. Uh... Oh. Oh. Tell your leader, Thaura. He's not my leader. How dare you answer me back? I'm the king of all the Cascade Brumbies. Tell your leader his day will come. 
Now be gone before I lose my patience. You pathetic arrow. A disgrace to the Brumbies. Look at you. Get out of my sight. And think yourself lucky to have survived an encounter with the most powerful horse in the high country. Farah, come on. We've got to put as much distance between us and the Brogger as possible. You'll tempt fate once too often, Thara. Okay, I'm going. Sorry. Really? No consideration. Very clever, Thara. What? Your escape. Very daring. That was quite a leap. Thank you. You're learning fast, Thara. Your mother taught you well. Oh, with more than a little help from you, Benny. Yes, and me. But don't get too cocky. There's still a great deal to learn. No, don't worry, Benny. I can look after myself. I know. That's what worries me. Now tell me, what were you so deep in thought about when I arrived? Just wondering about my two friends who were captured. Worrying about how they must be feeling. Caring's important. You've the makings of a good leader, Thara. Just keep away from the Brolga so you can get to be one. Sure, Benny. It would not be the last time that Thara had to escape the anger of the Brolga, nor the last time his speed and cunning would save him. As for Arrow, his humiliation by the Brolga only made him more angry and more jealous of Thara. And the capture of his friends by the men meant there was more trouble ahead. Karawong probably suffered most from Wombat's disastrous attempt to take his family on holidays. But whether Wombat himself learnt any lessons from the adventure or from his rudeness is hard to say. But the holiday did discover a newcomer to the high country, Gunda, the filly from the south, who had come in search of her lost young brother.
Greetings, oh stupendous star. Have you been gallivanting around enjoying yourself when you should have been working? Enjoying myself? But your exalted concupiscence, I've scarcely recovered from being trampled by wombats. Then you... <laughs> I'm not interested in your feeble excuses. You were shirking, Karawong, and no one likes a shirker. Oh, no, your limited convergence, I... Well, if you weren't shirking, you were working. So, what have you got to report? Report? What have I got to report? Well, ah, uh... Just as I thought. Nothing. No sign of that filly who escaped thanks to Thaura's interference. But I've searched and searched and I... No buts, Karawong! Get airborne and search again, till you find her. But, but... No buts, I said! Now get going! Going, going, good as gone. But... <laughs> so, uh, girls, what do you say? Interested in joining my herd? Nothing's changed, Arrow. We're not interested in joining your herd. Even if one existed. Oh, yeah, well, that was before. Things are different now. You've had time to think, to weigh up the possibilities, to see how impressive I am. <laughs> and to change your mind. Mm, it's that dolt arrow. At it again with my master's daughters. Doesn't he ever give up? Look, girls, the brold is getting too old for the job. Won't be long before I take over his kingdom and his herd. And you two could be head mares. If you play your cards right, you won't regret it. Well, if you put it that way, Arrow. It does sound tempting, doesn't it? I suppose we could think it over again. Are you whispering? And where is the filly? Uh, uh, which question do you want answered first, oh Sybil and Santa? Well, the reason I was whispering is. <laughs> that was not the question, and there's no reason to whisper when there's no one about. Now tell me about the filly. Uh, the filly? Well, yes. I found Arrow. What are you babbling about, you odious wretch? I ask you about the filly and you tell me about whispering. I ask you about the filly and you tell me about Arrow. What about the filly? But your loquacious mendaciousness, I'm just trying to explain. I was on my way to find her when I spotted Arrow trying to get your daughters to join his head. <laughs> Fancy that oafish dolt thinking any daughter of mine would have anything to do with him. Uh, but it's been a dull day so far. We're going to have some fun. Come on! Coming. Oh, enigmatic uniqueness. I'm as strong and brave as your father, as you've probably noticed. But, of course, he's much older and more experienced and... He'd be pleased to hear you say that, Arrow. Yeah, well, anyway, one day soon I'll beat him. And then it'll be me up there, King of the Brumbies. It won't be long. Why don't you tell him yourself, Arrow? <laughs> yeah? Well, I might. If he was ever game to get too close to me, I'd... I... What, like now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not going after him, sire? You almost had him. Ah, it's too easy. No challenge in Arrow. He never learnt the skills of the chase like Thaura. Arrow's a wimp. Won't see him for a while, your vociferous vocalness, eh? Arrow or Thaura? Arrow? Oh, you won't see Thaura. He's too smart and light on his feet. What? <laughs> I was just going to say that Thaura is too smart and too scared of you to approach your daughters. <laughs> Fancy Arrow thinking he could impress those fillies. Speaking of fillies, what about the one from the south? I gave you a job. What? The, the uh, 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 well, who? Uh, pardon? 
to find her and find out all about her. Oh, but I'm exhausted. So? <sighs> so, I'm going. <laughs> and so strong. What a magnificent young stallion, isn't he? Who is he, Kookaburra? <laughs> hmm, peculiar bird. Perhaps that Brumby is the one my father sent me to find and get help from. <laughs> Handsome? Well, there's so many, aren't there, Mew? Oh, indubitably. Many handsome Brumbies. Brave? Not a lot of brave. Uh, quite a lot of reasonably courageous. Or not easily scared. Oh, a lot of not easily scared. And strong. Ah, strong. Uh, yes, well, I always find strength a hard notion to clearly define. Perhaps... And chestnut. Chestnut? Arrow? Oh, couldn't be Arrow. Handsome, brave, strong, fast. No, not Arrow. I oh, don't know who you're talking about. Sorry, we couldn't be of more help. Out of the way, out of the way. Ouch! Step aside, step aside. Wombat coming through. Oh, it's you, Wombat. Perhaps you know the chestnut stallion I've seen. Chestnut, black, grey, silver, brown, I know them all. And they're always where they shouldn't be, in me way. But this one is special. <laughs> no time to gossip. Things to do. Hey! Oh, look out of it. If it's not a Brumby, it's a flaming kangaroo. Hmm. There's no doubt about Wombat. He needs a path all of his own. Benny! Good to see you. How are you? Gunda, I've been looking for you. Thara knows you're here. If we wait down by the river, perhaps he'll meet with you. Come on. I'll show you the way. But how will I know if it's Thara? You'll know, Gunda. A future king is always easy to spot. Hmm. Actually, I think I've seen him already. Galloping with the wind. A magnificent chestnut stallion. Chestnut? That's not Thara. <laughs> it is possible on a hazy day to mistake Arrow for a magnificent stallion. Could have been him. What do you mean? If it was this arrow you mention, he must come from a proud and noble family. He and Thara had different mothers but the same father. The mighty Yaraman, most noble king of the Cascade Brumbies. We southerners know of the mighty Yaraman. The chestnut is his father's son. Takes more after his mother. A mean-spirited, boastful mare if ever I saw one. I have to go now, Gunda, but you'll be safe here until Thara arrives. But just a word of advice. Beware of the Brolga. He's Thara's sworn enemy. Yes, I've already had one encounter with him. I'm told it was Thara who headed him off. I'll be on my guard. Looking for a strong, brave young horse. Who is? The filly. What filly? The one from down south. Beautiful she is. Young and beautiful. Oh, yes, indeed. And looking for a young, brave, strong chestnut. I, I wonder, wonder who, who she, she means. Hmm. I've no idea. No. <laughs> there she is. Oh, Thara, I'm so pleased to meet you at last. The pleasure's all mine, Gunda. I 
I want to thank you for saving me from the Brolga. I want to thank you for saving me from the Brolga. Bah, humbug. He won't be so mighty when good old Brolga gets to hear of this. <laughs> the Brolga's spy? I wonder what he's up to. Boon Boon, look down there. Clara. But, but look who's with him. I'm sure... I'm almost sure that's my sister. Your sister? Talking to Thaura. I never thought I'd see her again, or any of my family. Best wait here till they finish chatting. Then we can find out everything. Does this mean I'll have to go home, Boon Boon? I love my sister, but I also like it here with you and Thaura. We'll find out soon enough, don't worry. Whatever happens will be for the best. My father's getting old. He was torn with grief when the wild storm scattered our herd. He thought his favourite son was gone for good. Then we heard news of an orphan foal far to the north. Hmm. I think your search may well be over, Gunda. And mighty Brolga, she thinks Thaura is the greatest. The greatest what? You know your educated effectiveness. The greatest. <laughs> the way Thaura saved her from you is the talk of the high country. <laughs> <laughs> the kookaburras are laughing about it. The emus are uh, 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 gossiping about it. <laughs> all right, all right, you're all powerful. Is enough, enough? Show me where they are, Karawong. This instant. Aye, aye, mighty Magnifico. <laughs> Urala, I was afraid I'd never see you again. Me too, sis. You're a sight for sore eyes. He's been well looked after, Gunda. And learnt a lot. You couldn't get better teachers than Thara and Boon Boon. I can see Urala's very happy here. And by the look of it, doesn't want to leave. But your father... will be very pleased to know that his son has such good friends and mentors. He'll know it's for the best. It's not that I don't love you and father, Gunda. And I do want to see the herd again. It's just... I know, little one. But the day will soon come when you have to take up your rightful position as leader of our herd. Let's hope for your father's sake. That isn't too soon. When the time comes, Urala will know, and we'll make sure he heads south with our blessing and our love. We'll leave you two to spend some time together. Come on, Thara. Benny? <laughs> I was fast and strong, did she? Very impressed she was. I asked everyone about you. Best finder, eh? Introduce myself. Impress her. Show her what I'm made of. Could be a good idea. Hmm, could be. According to legend, the mighty Yarriman brought his herd to this place many years ago. The mighty Yarriman? Thara's father, right? Right. Well, this was his kingdom until... <laughs> we meet again. I am the Brolga. The mighty Brolga. King of the Cascade Brumbies. Of all the Cascade Brumbies and feared by all. And you are a stranger. A very beautiful stranger, so I'm told. Mm. Not being a Brumby myself. <laughs> <laughs> you are a stranger trespassing on my territory. However... If you want to join my herd, you may be able to stay. Where we come from, we welcome a stranger who comes in peace, not challenge them. My father is a king, and he doesn't need any mangy bird to speak for him. <laughs> mangy? I heard that. I came to find my brother, and now I have found him. And I will go home and tell my father of the rudeness of the king of the north. I wouldn't stay in any land ruled by a king I didn't respect. Yeah, so there. What? Why? Come on, Urella. 
don't take any lip from the mercurial meanness. Go thrash them, sire! <laughs> <laughs> Sis. Oh, yes, you were very brave, but we must be cautious. Where is that Karawang when I need him? I could find them in an instant. The Broga? Again. <coughs> what? Why, that? He always turns up when he's least wanted. Come on, Broga! Catch me if you can! <coughs> Not this time! I'm staying right here till that filly emerges. Thaura's ploy hasn't worked. The Brolga hasn't budged. Patience is a virtue. If I wait long enough, something will happen. And when it does... Uh -huh. Look, it's the chestnut. Chestnut is right. That's Arrow. Oh! It's her. It's my admirer. <laughs> Hi, guys! Shh, be quiet. Stay away. <laughs> I heard you're looking for a brave, strong, fast chestnut stallion. Not anymore. You've probably given us away. We're hiding from the Brolga. <laughs> this warrants investigation. <laughs> While you have the chance. <laughs> you two make such a charming couple. Your time will come, Thaura. Your time will come. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, stupendous El Supremo, that's the way. You cool off after giving that arrow a much-needed thrashing. <laughs> oh, what a charge, what a charge! And did you see the way the others scattered? <laughs> Terrified they were, mighty Mastodon. Your reputation of being the fiercest, strongest king of the Cascade Brumbies ever is now beyond dispute. Dispute? Dispute? Since when has there ever been a dispute? Oh, uh, well, there are those that say, uh, that say, uh... Say what, Karawan? Spit it out. That, that say, in fact, that uh, Thaura's father, the mighty Yaraman, was... Mighty Yaraman? <laughs> I crushed the mighty Yaraman in battle and took his herd. Absolutely, sire. That's what I keep telling them. And the fact that he was twice your age had no... <laughs> now, what was that about age, Karawang? Uh, nothing in it, sire. That's what I told him. Just like there's nothing in the idea that just because you're twice Thaura's age, it won't be long before... <laughs> The old war horse missed me that time. <laughs> oh, if only I could get my beak around a screen. 
to see me? Straight up that hill and boy, did I give the brolger a well-deserved hiding. I did it to save you and your Alagoonda. No thought for my own safety. Oh, gee, Arrow, I, I don't know how to thank you. We watch out for each other. So I see. Yorel is safe here, and he's in good company. No need for me to stay around. I'll give them the good news that he's still alive. It's a long journey. Take care. Maybe someone should go with you. It'll be my pleasure, Gunda. I know the way. And as I was telling you, I, I'm the bravest horse in the high country. Couldn't think of anyone better. Yes! It's a great idea. I could do with a change of scenery. Who knows? Might even like it down south. Hmm. Might even stay. Oh, well, Laro, it's a very generous offer, but I'm sure I'll be all right on my own. <laughs> oh, well, well, let me think about it overnight. <laughs> so Arrow is thinking of leaving the high country. He seems to have taken to Gunda a lot more than she has to him. But does she really want Arrow to tag along with her? At least she knows that her young brother is going to be in good hands.